M0 FXP, welcome back to my videos on the True USDX by DL2MAN and PE1NN. So this is the original model. It's not a clone, and I highly recommend you get the original model. And today we're just going to install the battery pack. Now DL2MAN has made a video installing this, so check that one out uh, if you want to see it from the uh, you know from the guy who created this this device. Okay, so. If you look here, you've got this slidey part here. We'll turn the device off for now. I'm very lucky, I've got one with the yellow, with the dual color screen, which I wasn't expected. I was very pleased about that. These are the batteries that we're gonna need, and I do have three of them. I've got this USB charger here, which is only about five pound. It's charging up well, it's gonna be a lot more convenient. Now, I'm not sure if the, I don't think the device actually Will, this device will actually charge the battery. So it looks like it's only a DC input. So that's why I purchased that item to charge them. It does come, this packet does come with some extra, with screws that are slightly longer than the original screws. So all you do is turn the device off, turn it over, and then get yourself, this is the one I've got, you know, um, and just whip these out, all four. Now go easy, because this is a 3D printed device. And if you squash it too hard, you may crack it. I've actually got a green case as well here that I decided to get. So I wasn't sure if I wanted the green case or the orange. I do like the orange. Um, so I decided just buy the, you know, while I was ordering, just buy the spare case. The battery pack was about £20 and even the green case was, was a similar amount. So it wasn't high, high money. The whole unit, I think, is about £140. I do think that the, the unit would probably fit on with the original screws. There's only a couple of millimeters longer. So the other thing is when we do eventually connect the batteries, it comes like this. It, I'm lucky it's already been threaded through for me, so I don't have to chain take this out, but this does act, this black battery holder does come out. Just make sure you, you don't trap the wires. And of course you've got red and black. It comes with this, you can shorten this, you know, you can shorten it and solder it, or it's up to you what you decide, of course. Uh, and then this will eventually, when it's powered, will plug into the top there, like that, and power your device. So leave the last screw in a bit, and then it makes it easier to pull off the, the back one. There's the unit inside, if you've never seen it. Um, be careful not to damage your components, of course. But that's what it looks like from this side, anyway. I'll put that back on. But then what we're going to do is put this on backwards with the longer screws and just do them up without trying not to crack the plastic. I've got the slightly longer screws here. And so I'll just put them in and then we'll slide on the ones we want and I'll probably solder the wire to the other wire so it all fits. The screws are recessed in so they, they do fit very nicely. I haven't gone too tight, but tight enough so they don't poke out. And there you go. Yeah, just you want it flat so that um, it doesn't catch when you slide the battery connector on. Okay. Right, so then you want to have it so that the power is up. Now, once you've got batteries in this, you do need to be careful you don't short anything out. So I'm not going to put the batteries in yet. There's no cover for the batteries, although I think it wouldn't be hard to make a cover. So we're going to slide it in so that the power cable comes at the top like that. We're going to slide it down there. Now remember, it's 3D printed. It's not going to be perfect, but it's got these little cap, these little noggle, nodules here. And if you can see them that poke out a little bit. So we're just going to carefully ease that in, try not to, to crack anything and try not to, you know, damage anything at all there. And I'll just ease that in. It's quite stiff. So if I have to, I'll take, I'll go out and in a couple of times if I have to, because I don't want to crack anything. Yeah, I was a bit scared, but a gentle sort of push and it's sort of like that. And it started, it's gone most of the way. Still got a little, a little lip there to go over. Um, but we'll just keep wiggling until it, it feels like it's in place. You can see just here, there's a little nodule there that wants to just go over that little bump. And it is quite stiff. 
so we'll put it like that and <laughs> banged it with the side of my hand and once it's on there it's pretty you know it's, it makes it quite a, it actually stands a lot easier so yeah it's on there go a little bit more I'm, I'm still scared of breaking it but anyway it will go a little bit more so let's um what I'll do next is join my my power lead uh, to this and 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 you know make sure that we can't short anything out I don't think I'll shorten it I'll just keep it and then wind it up soldering iron on the go here okay red to red black to black then we'll put some tape over that and we'll do that before before we install any batteries okay we'll put the lead in we know it's red to red black to black turn the device the right way around and plug in our power cable here, which I'll probably use a cable tie to sort of push that in firmly. We have our BNC connector here, so let's get an antenna on there so that when we fire this up, we can see some activity. I'll have to turn off my LED light probably. All right, we're not going to turn it on, it's not going to be on yet until we add some batteries. So, as you can see, they're all marked. You've got minus at the bottom, plus at the top. Squeeze that in. Um, they're not fully, fully charged. But you know, if you want full power output from this device, then you're better off using a, a, power, a proper power supply, I think. But anyway, minus at the bottom, like so. Third battery, and you can buy these. They're about three pound each, I think. And they, did, they last really well. And I think I heard that come on straight away. Now it has got an internal speaker, so you know it's not the best speaker, but the idea is that you can pair it. I've got a speaker that I purchased here the other day that I'll be testing. I'll do it in this video and then I'll make a separate one. So let's get the uh, the volume up. So press and turn. There is some activity there. I remember we're being powered completely from. Let's do my external speaker. Right. So this is the speaker I got. It was like four pound from China. And I know it's got a little switch on it. So yeah, it looks like it's, it might even have Bluetooth, but we'll test that separately. Um, so at the moment I just got it on the, let's turn the off position and just see if we can hear anything. With the off, because I did have to charge this up. So it might have a little amplifier in it. We'll turn it on. And there you are. Um, battery sure powered. Of, Got the speaker. Maybe. Got the batteries. I'm not going to PTD because I, I haven't, the antenna needs tuning. If you press, you get larger and smaller increments, see that? Press and turn, you get volume. And you can double press. Change the bands. I mean, it's a small unit, isn't it? Completely portable. Had someone there, didn't we? Where's he gone? That was a good signal, wasn't it? Oh, have we gone to USB, look?
That's it, like your back button. Enter PTT. Pressing moves it along as you know. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. 7-3. All the best.